Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we're going to be continuing our tkinter video series by teaching how to do class-based windows. Class-based windows are important because it pretty much transfers all of the upfront work to the very beginning. So yes, it's a little bit more work in the beginning to, you know, write out how you want your window to work, but in the long term, it makes the application a little bit more scalable and maintainable. So we're going to start as normal and just import tkinter. And we're still going to declare a global root variable. But now instead of doing our classic root.title, root.geometry, and then adding buttons and all that, we're just going to create a class called window. And we're going to use the init method to customize whatever we want to do with this window. So let's say we want to have the title. We want to have a title, a geometry, and a message. Now, of course, before you have all these, you want to pass in your root variable or your top level window. So the first part of this init method is going to be say self.root equals root. Now, for all the modifications you want to do to the window, you're going to be using self.root instead of just root because this self.root is the instance variable for the entirety of this window. So if we want to change the title of this window, we're going to say self.root.title. And that's just going to be the title that we input into the constructor. We can do the same with geometry. We're going to say self.root.geometry. That's just going to be geometry. This has to be input as a string and with the notation of size x size. Okay. Now to create a message, we're going to say label. And normally if you were doing a label, let's say out here in the global scope, where we would say label. The first argument would be root and then you'd have everything else in there. But here the first argument is going to be self.root because we want the main root variable to be the instance root for this object. So we're going to say self.root and we're going to say that text equals message. The text on this label is going to be the message you input into the constructor. And now we're just going to pack that. We're also going to call the main loop method in this init method. So self.root.mainloop, this lets you actually run the entire window once you finish the constructor. So now let's come up here and create a main function. And let's make it return nothing. So let's say that we want to use this window we just created. And let's say that window1 equals window. And let's move this root variable into the function. So let's just toss that there. For the window constructor, we have the root that we need. So root is our first argument. Title, let's call this title class-based windows. And let's say that the geometry is going to be 400 by 900. And let's say the message is hello user. This is an object window. Now when we run this, and we have to call it first at the bottom, we're going to see that we get a little pop-up window here and we have the geometry that we want and we have the title that we specified in the constructor. The good thing here is that if you want to change anything, all you have to do is come up here and edit the constructor. So let's just edit some of that and now we have a different window pop-up. And the message is the same but the geometry and the title are different. Now this is a lot more important when you start dealing with variables. So let's say we have a variable called n, and let's just make it zero. And let's say we want to have a button that every time you press the button, it's going to increment this value by one. So let's create the button here. Let's call it button one equals button. First argument is self.root. Remember, it's not just root. The text is going to be increment, and the command is going to be a method that we're going to call self.increment. We're going to pack that and we're going to come down here and make this little function called def increment. First argument for an instance method is always self, remember that. And in this increment method we're just going to say that self.n plus equals 1 and then every time we press it we want to actually see the value so we're going to say print self.n and this is going to return nothing. So now once we run this, we're going to see that pressing increment allows us to increment this little counter in the instance by one every time we press the button. 
Now, why is this important? Because if we didn't use class-based windows, let's just toss everything here. And let's just try to do this in the global scope. So we're going to say root equals tk. Uh, we're going to call root.main loop at the bottom. And let's just create a global variable called, um, let's say, n. And we're going to say n equals 0. So now if we want to do this in the global scope, let's say that button 1 is button root text equals increment. And the command is also increment. Now let's come up here and make our function called increment, def increment, return none. And that's just going to increase the value of n by 1. So n plus equals 1, and then print out n. So what happens when we run this? We're going to see that we get this local variable error. And that's strange because we want to actually be increasing this n, but the way function scope work is it doesn't understand that we want to pass this by reference. And you can't pass by reference in Python. So, so what if we said that uh, maybe the variable equals n in the function parameter? So let's say we want to increase variable by one and print out that. Okay, so let's see how that works. We press increment. Yeah, we're getting something incremented by one, but every time we run this function, it's just creating a new variable called n in this local scope and incrementing that. So it doesn't work like the class-based window where you can actually increase the instance variable of that class. So in C++, if you're familiar with that, you would see that you could just say something like void increment, and you'd pass by reference the variable, and then you just say something like var++. Now that would work because that is a pass by reference, but Python uses pass by object reference, which is, uh, it's different from like something like C. So this is why class-based windows are important because once you start mangling your data and actually playing around with it, you have to use a lot of globals to change things and you have to do a lot of weird workarounds when you could just use the class. So I hope that video is helpful. There is a lot of stuff you can do with class-based windows and and this is just skimming the top of it. So everything from here on out in this series is gonna be using class-based windows. So it's gonna be important to actually get familiar with it. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and thank you all for watching.